what's up guys so uh, I wanted to make a video for you guys to talk a little bit about my experience with the IROS 710H and I um, wanted to talk a little bit about why I bought this turbo what the experience was like installing it and what my thoughts are now that I've had just under a week to drive it you know that's not a very long sample size but I wanted to get my thoughts out because I'm gonna be putting out a video on the hybrid install and uh, giving you a kind of a dummy's guide and I say that because I'm the dummy but uh, you know I'm not an experienced mechanic at all but I'm definitely not afraid to turn a wrench and if you're like me and you like to do stuff for yourself and save money I definitely think that you can install the turbo yourself none of it was hard but a lot of it was very tedious and very frustrating. There was a few points in that install where I was just like, not ready to give up, but just like ready to go to bed kind of thing. Like, damn it, I'll just deal with this tomorrow because uh, yeah, some of it was definitely very challenging. But um, overall, I'm, I'm super glad that I did it. I guess I should turn off this, uh, turn off dynamic, it was loud. But, um, yeah, so I want to talk about the reason why I bought this turbo and a lot of it or basically all of it had to do with budget. So, you know, uh, I'm sure I'm not the only one that struggles with this to really build a fully built RS3 or TTRS. You need a good twenty, thirty thousand dollars $30,000 and uh, most people don't just have that laying around to throw into a car. So if you're like me, I'm sure this will resonate with you. but. I have a serious problem and uh, that is my drug of choice and that is more my drug of choice is more and it's something I've struggled with for a long time and my car is no different I want more money I want more horsepower I want more house I want more of it all so you know that's my problem um, I love the car stage 2 Unitronic E85 is a beast it's a ton of fun to drive it was fast but alas not enough and it never is so you know I wanted to get more power but right now building the bottom end just wasn't in the works for me so I had some choices to make and I decided I'm gonna go with a smaller hybrid to kind of satisfy temporarily the itch to go faster and the reason I wanted to do that is because while the car on stage 2 ethanol launches violently you know, when you mash on the gas in second and third from low RPM range, that lower range torque is really something special. I mean, the car just takes off and it feels great. But the problem is, is the higher end. I always felt like from right around like 5,500 and on, it was just really lacking. Uh, it kind of felt like it was struggling to breathe up there, you know, because it was. And so even though it was fast, even though it could be like 98% of cars on the road, it just, the thrill, on the higher end, it wasn't there for me. And uh, if you're happy with the way your car is, I, I respect that, I salute you. I wish that I could be happy with the way my car was, ever. You know, and I, I, I don't think I ever will be. No matter how big of a turbo I go, I'll probably always want more. And you know, that's just a part of who I am. But uh, I didn't want to wait to build the bottom end, so I decided on a turbo, a hybrid turbo, a smaller one, and I talked to a lot of guys that I really trust you know and, and if I talk to you you know who you are I really appreciate the help but uh, I, I got some good advice on on which turbos to look at and I looked at the pure turbo uh, the 800 and the 700 which is no longer available and all of the TTE options from the 700 to the 777 and uh, ultimately despite it costing more money I ended up deciding on the IROS 710H and I'll tell you what uh, First and foremost, the internals on the Zona iROS kits are dual ball bearing. And yes, some of the other companies actually do offer ball bearing options. They cost more, but um, through you know early testing of the iRIS 850H, uh, it's suggested that the 850 actually might spool even faster or as fast as their TTE uh, 700 which is a much smaller turbo so if you have a, a very large turbo spooling up just as quickly if not faster than a uh, than a smaller turbo of another brand you know obviously those internal components do matter and ball bearing turbos you know 
There's a lot of debate between journal bearing and ball bearing, but at the end of the day, there's a reason why it costs more. It does, in my opinion, spool a lot faster, and I believe that the 710 has better internals. And if you have a TTE or a pure turbo, you're thinking about getting one, I am absolutely convinced that there's nothing wrong with buying one of those. It's gonna be an amazing, fantastic turbo, no matter what you choose, but ultimately, that combined with the fact that the 710H is probably the most perfectly matched for stock turbo, you know, those two things combined made it for me worth spending the little bit of extra money to get the IMS 710H. And the good news is when I decide to build the motor, I can just switch to a built motor file and take advantage of a little bit more power and torque. So it's not that it's maxed out, it's just that uh, the tuners, are able to easily control the torque in such a way that is much safer for the motor if you go with these smaller hybrids. Yeah, you can use a bigger turbo on a stock motor and artificially limit torque, but that's harder for the tuner to do. And as you know, the guys at Unitronic told me, it's a better idea just to go with the smaller one because you're one over boost away from you know blowing the motor. And obviously, if you have a a bigger turbo controlling that over boosting it becomes harder as the turbo gets bigger so you know uh, this turbo I felt like was the safest matchup for what I was going to use it for in the relative short term and so I wanted to go faster but I didn't want to compromise safety and even though I try to put myself in the safest position I can be None of it is going to be foolproof. I can still blow the motor. It can still overboost. It can still, a number of things can happen. And you know, it, it's no foolproof plan, but you do want to put yourself in the, the best possible position to try to put yourself uh, in as safe a range as you can be. And the way they've tuned this, uh, this stage three Unitronic tune, which I absolutely love, um, it feels exactly the same as a stock turbo until you get right to around 5,000 RPMs. And so this turbo um, addresses all of the problems that I had with the stock turbo. It spools fast, not that I had a problem with that in the first place, it spools just as fast, if not faster, than the stock turbo. It has all of the same um, incredible low-end you know, neck snapping torque, but you also get an incredibly powerful high end. And so I find myself going through gear so quickly that I don't barely have time to think about what's going on. I just got to focus on the road because it's just flying through gear so quickly. In fact, that I really almost sometimes wish that it was a six speed so I could stay in the gear for a little bit longer. Um, it's completely and absolutely exceeded my expectations on what a turbo should be. I, I really feel like I wish this was the car it was from the beginning. And so uh, I have to say, if you're considering getting the 710H and you're not sure if it's gonna be worth it, but you're on a stock motor, do it. It's 100% worth it. And one of the things I wanna talk about about this turbo is uh, your expectations, right? So when you're going a bigger turbo, you expect it to feel more powerful but actually in a way the uh, the 710 doesn't feel any different than a stock turbo and in terms of torque and so that's actually a, a feature not a bug and that's to keep your motor safe so when you mash on the gas that initial takeoff is is exactly like stock so if you want to retain the stock feeling of your car you know you really love the way maybe stage 2 ethanol feels you want some more power, but you really like the uh, stock drivability of that tune. Well, when you run a 710H, you maintain all of that. It feels almost identical to the stock tune, except for when you're really getting on it. I mean, when you really want to go fast, it's actually there. Instead of choking out and kind of dying down in the high end, you keep pulling, you keep going, and that extra oomph is like night and day different and better than the stock tune but when you're just driving around town you don't realize that you have almost a 700 horsepower car it feels perfect the low end response is still there the spool is still fast the drivability is there 
and when you and when you want to get on it and when you want to you know drag a supercar then you have that too and uh, I think that's absolutely amazing and the fact that you can run this safely on a stock bottom end it's fantastic I mean you have to love this platform you know people underestimate it all the time they look at it they you know it's not as much of a sleeper as it used to be people are starting to know about RS3s but most you know those uh, big Mustang and Corvette guys they have no idea what's about to happen to them and so uh, overall thoughts are um, absolutely thrilling if you're looking at getting a new turbo the 710 should definitely definitely be on your radar at least and one of the cool things another reason that I decided to go with this turbo is Hank Iroz at Iroz Motorsport has a really amazing program where he will buy back your hybrid and allow you to purchase another turbo you only have to pay the difference so um, if I think it's around twenty three hundred dollars or twenty two fifty that he'll buy your your hybrid back from you, and so if you're buying a you know thirty eight hundred dollar eight fifty H or I don't know how much it's going to cost, but let's say it's four thousand dollars, then you're only going to pay the eighteen hundred or seventeen hundred fifty dollar difference, and so that makes your upgrade path much more sensible. Some of the other turbo kits uh, are going to run you like six or seven thousand dollars. I, I saw some of the TTEs or seven grand that was including the core charge but um yeah i mean the upgrade path is super simple when you're ready to upgrade when you want to go with the 850 you've got a built motor now you want to go with something bigger you just call up hank and basically you get that uh it's almost like another core charge you get a refund a partial refund on the hybrid and you get to put that towards your new turbo so it really makes the path forward much more attractive you know now I don't have to sweat um, how I'm gonna upgrade I just know that my next step is gonna be to build the motor and then after that uh, I will upgrade the turbo and so I can just do one little piece at a time and I'm gonna benefit each time that I go down that road so you can expect to see my hybrid turbo install video coming out soon I did have a couple of parts in the video that had very poor lighting so I'm gonna have to take some still photos and overlay the video and you know uh, I want people to be able to see what I was doing obviously so um, it might take me a few days to get that out but I wanted to get out this video to you and a lot of people have been asking me how do you like it how do you like it well I, I freaking I love it I love it I'm so happy that I did this the car is absolutely incredible and uh, I can't wait for you to get one of your own so with that uh, I look forward to making more videos of not knowing how to how to build stuff and um, yeah just working my way through that stuff so anyway thank you for watching have a great holiday